Well, let's see the topic of image slider using the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript. What I have done is I have actually created an HTML file and did this just this thing, and I have linked the main CSS file and my JavaScript file, which is main.css and aw.e.js. And what I have done is I have just created an array in a Java script file the images that I'm gonna use and I have made that in a, into an array just there and just I created a head and the linking of main as a CSS and JavaScript file and what I want to show you is I have these files are you know HTML file, CSS file, and JavaScript files are here, and these are the images that has been stored as an array in the JavaScript file. So, well, all we are left to do is just code. So let's see how the image slider works. Uh, what I want to do is I want to create some buttons, and when you click, click, click on that button, what click? When I click on those buttons, it changes the images. For example, let's see. Let's type and let's see what happens. Button. Oh, sorry. On. Click. And you can see on click is an event handler. You guys know that. And uh, what it does is whenever you click this button, it does something. A new event is called. And that new event is at this point is calling this function which is next it should be previous actually because we are on the previous button so let's do this and uh, previous let's just close this button one button is ready let me just show you guys okay, run this. and you can see this is the previous button well, it doesn't do anything right now. Let's just create a image, okay? Img, and uh, just make it a source. Is equal to and uh, save whatever is the value of that image or whatever is the name and the address of this image because you see my image image hyphen one is in the same folder as of the file itself so I don't need to use address just a name and the extension of the file so let's just close this image and, uh, and uh, let's just save it and run it see this previous button and this is the image but it's very huge and we will just cut it let's wait and watch I just create another button which is definitely to be the next button next function has to be called is done in this Hi. so you can see this uh, well you save this and run in the chrome well you can see this previous button and you would be able to see this next button too uh, let's just use main.cs and just you know make them look good so let's just button work on this button Float this button to the left side mm, with I must say 50 px is alright for them. Height, um, let's just give them 50 px again, making it a square and um, margin to the top. Uh, let's just give them 
20 px all right and let's just do with the image and let's just load this to the left again all right and uh, let's just change the value because it's so huge let's just say 600 px and uh, height to be 500 px are you guys are running this so let's just save this this, this is the basic css properties that i have used and uh, let's just run this into the crown and you can see this image is much smaller now and previous button and next word you can see this doesn't look good this button is so small well, let's just change it again um, buttons let's just increase the height and height of this image is 500 let's just make it 450 let's see what happens is this button is huge now next look good looks good you know this image this space is here and this space looks all right then small ones hmm now what we have to do is we have just one image really now i have to do more than now these are the different images that i have to use um, so let's just create well now let's go to zero let's just create a function which is definitely a next function what it does is it changes the value let's document dot get element by id and you can understand that this is false because i haven't created an id i haven't id is equal to let's make it as a slider program so let's just make it a slider the name of the id all right there you go there you go my boy so let's just type slider in here so to this element and the slider is an uh, id of an element image so this slide will work as an, an the new element and what we have to do is increase the value of num because we are doing in the num next function and uh, if num is greater than equal to image dot length all right this function returns the value of this length and if this is the current value so what it does is it makes num is equal to zero all right and the slide uh, slider not slider slide dot src is equal to image and num all right there you go my next function is created let's just quickly create another function which is previous previous I am lazy and what we do is num minus minus definitely we do that and another if num is smaller than zero then what you do is my bro is that num is equal to image dot length minus one what it does is it's if image is there then you have to make this value and what it does is slide dot src is equal to image num there you go test um, let's just save it and let's just save this too and uh, 
run it. As you can see if you click next, it goes. Just a slider. Well, that's how it's done. Thank you very much for watching. Maybe I'm gonna create some more basic videos first because this is well too much to understand, but I will be creating much basic videos too. Thank you for watching.